Most of the time, people say, I'm depressed. What does one mean when he says, or she says, that I'm depressed? Guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about matters of depression. And if you have not subscribed, I can tell you are missing a lot. Kindly share our channel widely. The channel is Nazvin. Welcome, guys. Today we're going to talk about uh, depression. And when we talk about depression, it's a very common uh, but serious mood disorder that can be can affect how you feel, think, and also handle daily activities. I don't know if you have ever been depressed or you have seen someone who is in depression. Sometimes, out of lack of uh, deep knowledge, we say I'm depressed, someone is depressed, uh, but uh, actually depression is not normal, it's a disorder, or is a disease, and it is more, it needs uh, more of medical attention. So that's why I'm here. Like I always tell you in this channel, we get to discuss matters medical, but in the simple language, which we can always understand, and get to help each other out. So it is more uh, depression, it's more than a feeling, or uh, feeling sad because most of the time when someone tells you today Vincent I'm, I'm depressed today Bismarck I'm depressed today uh, Petronilla I'm depressed most of the time you get that they have that sad feeling but most of the time depression is uh, when we talk about depression medically it is more than that and uh, the me me mental health has become a very big issue in the today's world because of the changes which have really taken place, especially when we talk about matters of inflation and also matters of employment. Especially, I don't know how about your country, guys. Maybe in your down comments below, you can give me that nice comment here on your status of your inflation in your country and the status of the mental health in your, in your country. So... <clears throat> Uh, so uh, this depression thing goes beyond being sad or going through a rough patch. It is a persistent condition and can uh, significantly impact one's quality of life. And uh, I want to give you some of the uh, signs or key, point, key pointers to one when one is, uh, is depressed. So welcome guys. Uh, matters depression, that's what we're going to talk about. Are you depressed? Am I depressed? Uh, we're going to see the pointers where one can know really if one is, uh, uh, one is uh, depressed from this other side or to the, to, the, to the other side. So symptoms, we talk about uh, symptoms. Symptoms are the features which show really one is uh, depressed. So symptoms of depression can vary but may include uh, some of this, uh, what I'm going to mention, uh, persistent uh, uh, feeling of sadness, yeah, hopelessness, uh, or emptiness, uh, that is uh, very key to guide one to other uh, uh, symptoms uh, for this. Emptiness, loss of interest or pleasure in activities one once enjoyed. Changes in appetite also, you get that when one is in depression, they don't want to eat, uh, they have uh, sleep disturbances, they may oversleep or undersleep, that is a sign of uh, depression. Fatigue, uh, lack of energy, also difficulty in concentrating, you see like you are doing something but you are not able to concentrate, like uh, if you are driving, you can't concentrate well, some people are hooting from all over from the other side and you are not even uh, on the road, your mind is not on the road. If you are in class, you can't really concentrate on what you are being taught. Uh, so you are not able really to follow up issues uh, very well. There is also worthlessness, feeling of that worthlessness as a symptom. Uh, there is also guilt. And uh, also, uh, unfortunately, there are people at some point when one is depressed, they go into a state of now uh, deciding or uh, feeling the, having that feeling to commit uh, suicide because of the, those changes have really uh, occurred. So one may, may be having thoughts of suicide or death. They may be telling you about how they feel that they should be dead uh, and how they, this life is worthless. 
So that is a sign of uh, uh, depression. Or well, those are the symptoms of depression. We have types of uh, depression. I'm going to there are several of depre uh, the depression types, but uh, I will I will just mention we have major uh, depression disorder or what you call MDD, major depression disorder. We also have persistent uh, depressive disorder. It was formerly called uh, dysthymia. Uh, dysthymia. When I talk about dysthymia, I talk about D Y S T H M I a dysthymia. Also, we have a seasonal affective disorder, what we call SAD or SAD. We are also have postpartum depression, especially the, for the mothers who have uh, delivered. That's also another type of depression. We have bipolar disorder, which includes periods, period, periods of uh, depression, and also where now one goes physical or they are manic. They have what you call <coughs> uh, mania. What are the causes of uh, depression? Depression is thought to be caused by a combination of uh, many things, including genetic. They say if you are, you are people from your bloodline or genetic are uh, add that depression thing, the kids are likely to also develop uh, that from the genetics of it. So there's also biological things. We have environmental things and also psychological factors as the main causes of this uh, depression. Risk factors, what can put you in a risk of having a depression? We have certain factors which may increase the risk of developing uh, depression. These include uh, the family history, like I've mentioned. If your family has had that history of uh, depression or other mood disorders, personal, personal history of trauma, especially uh, when one experienced some sad experiences, in the past, like people working in the army, especially they are exposed to a lot of uh, trauma at that particular time. So if they don't undergo tre special treatment, they're likely to have this, uh, this, this. Also the kids who underwent maybe rape experiences in their early age, or they were sexually, uh, uh, um, uh, <coughs> sexually abused in their, uh, their age, their young age, they're likely to develop uh, such kind of uh, experiences of having uh, of having depression. Also, we have certain medications which can predispose you to uh, this uh, depression thing, and the significant life changes. Like if one used to have a lot of money, and now they maybe because of regression and other economic uh, other economic changes, one may have may develop uh, depression because of the lack of money. Maybe someone was in marriage and now they are divorced at some point. This one can also lead to uh, uh, to depression. Like if, even if a, if, a, if a kid had parents, now the parents passed away and the life of the kid has really uh, deteriorated, the kid is likely to experience such kind of uh, a thing called uh, depression. How do we treat uh, depression? Depression, depression is, normally <coughs> is normally treatable. That is the good news. And there are various effective ways in which we can always approach it so that we can, uh, we can, we can treat it. So we have uh, uh, things like psychotherapy, where one goes uh, because of the cognitive behavior and the therapy of interpersonal therapy. That's a special way in which uh, the, the caregivers who have, who have the, 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 psycho, the psychotherapy affect, uh, 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 <coughs> aspect of treatment, they approach it and also to help such kind of patients. Also, we have antidepressant drugs, so which uh, really help. We have different classes of these drugs. Uh, I've, I've ever talked about psychotic disorders. If you have not watched it, I will attach this, uh, that video here so that we also get to see those psycho, <coughs> psychotherapy drugs which really help and especially the antidepressants so that they deal with uh, this uh, depression thing. And also lifestyle changes is very important such as uh, regular exercise. They say exercise, like you've seen in most of our videos, I've talked about uh, the importance of exercise and lifestyle change. So some uh, exercise is a very good thing. It helps us to go to under, to it prevent it gets us 
to prevent on getting to the level of having chronic illnesses such as diabetes and hypertension and other diseases but at the same time they help the functioning of our mind so uh, depression also as a preventive measure and also a form of management exercise regular exercise is very important also healthy diet is very important stretch uh, also teaching one on how to handle stretch uh, stressing situations is very important so that is the now the stress management uh, levels and also social support in which now we have like a, a group of people coming together where they can get to be to share ex their own experiences those who have undergone the same problems like if you have alcohol people the alcoholic they come together and also share their various experiences their losses and their gains so that this the, the other one learns from from the other one so we have these uh, groups which come together to help one as a social support to get out of that uh, uh, problem. Also, seeking help is also a very important aspect of uh, depression. If you or some of you know is experiencing symptoms of uh, depression, uh, it is essential to seek uh, help from a healthcare professional. It is essential to seek help from a healthcare professional because depression is a medical condition that requires proper diagnosis and, uh, and uh, treatment. And some, uh, so, uh, because of the uh, thin line between other conditions, you may think one is having depression, but you may also have, we also have uh, other conditions which may affect the brain, like, uh, like uh, tumor growth, we have the cancers of, which can uh, come up, which can really affect also the functioning of uh, an individual. So coming out with a proper diagnosis is very important. Uh, and also there are classes and how you classify this to get the better or the best uh, diagnosis for this kind of uh, patients. So talking to your doctor or therapist or mental health professional is the first step towards getting uh, the treatment needed, needed to manage uh, these uh, depression guys. So also we have uh, support in, in the matters of depression, uh, support from friends, family and support groups can be invaluable in coping uh, with depression. So it is important to reach out for help. Uh, it's always good to accept that you need that help. Stay connected to others, don't isolate yourself, and also maintain open communication about the feelings and experiences uh, which you, you have. So uh, remember depression is a, is a treatable condition and the right support uh, and treatment, uh, with the right uh, support and treatment, many people overcome it and lead to a fulfilling life. If you or someone you know is in crisis or experiencing suicidal thoughts, seek immediate help from a mental health professional or call an emergency, uh, emergency services so that you get that kind of uh, an help. On the management or the treatment of depression, we have, uh, first, we, we have various ways in which we manage uh, depression. The, the management of depression typically involves a combination of approaches tailored towards to the, to the individual needs. So it depends on, your, on the level and also the need of an individual on this kind of uh, uh, condition. So, but I'm going to give you some common strategies used in, in the management or the treatment of uh, uh, depression. Number one is about psychotherapy. Psychotherapy, also known as talk therapy, can be an effective treatment of depression uh, because cognitive uh, and behavioral therapy, or what you call CBT, interpersonal therapy, IPT, and uh, psychodynamic therapy are among the most common used approaches uh, uh, to approach also to treat these uh, individuals. Therapy can help individuals identify and change the negative thoughts patterns uh, learning uh, coping skills, improve communication and also interpersonal relationship to address the underlying uh, issues contributing to the depression. Number two after psychotherapy we have uh, what you call medication. We have special medications like I've talked about antidepressants. Medication can be prescribed to help uh, alleviate symptoms of depression. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or what you call SSRIs 
serotonin, neuropinephrine, intake, reuptake uh, inhibitors, SNRIs, tricyclic antidepressants, uh, that's what we call TCS, and the monoamine oxidase inhibitors or MAOs, uh, the ones also some of the classes uh, used uh, closely by healthcare provider to, f to fight uh, this uh, uh, depression. And the, the dosages are, uh, are adjusted appropriately to make uh, the proper response uh, from the patients. So the, 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 and also the dosages with the response is monitored by that healthcare provider. Number three, after the drugs, we have uh, the lifestyle changes. Making health lifestyle changes can help improve mood and overall well-being. Like I've talked about regular exercise, maintaining a, a balanced diet, getting adequate sleep, avoiding alcohol and drugs, and practicing stress reduction techniques such as uh, mindfulness, meditation, or deep breathing exercises can, all, uh, can help also. Guys, on the modes of uh, lifestyle changes, we talked about lifestyle changes, making health lifestyle changes can help improve mood and the well-being of an individual. And when we talk about uh, lifestyle changes, we are talking about regular exercises, we are talking about uh, maintaining a balanced diet, uh, getting the adequate sleep, avoiding alcohol and drugs, and practicing stress reduction techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, uh, and also deep breathing exercises can also help uh, support mental health and they also reduce the situations or the symptoms of uh, depression. Social support is a very uh, important also aspect in uh, the management and the treatment of uh, depression. By building a support network or support group of friends, family members, support groups or mental health professionals can provide a valuable emotional support in which and other, with others and sharing experiences can help combat feelings of isolation and the loneliness of associated with the depression guys. So also in the matters of self-care is also very important as a form of management where one uh, is engaging in activities uh, that bring uh, the joy and also relaxation and fulfillment which can alleviate the symptoms of uh, depression. So guys, depression is a very common thing within within us and it is something which we really need to take very seriously because uh, from the numbers we are getting, even when the, with the World Health Organization, the numbers are very high on matters of uh, depression and uh, it's highly time we really support each other on these matters of um, depression. And if you find someone feeling suicidal, Having that, uh, if someone had in an interest in something now is never, uh, is never really interested in that kind of a life. Wants to isolate himself or herself. He wants to. He has the that thoughtfulness of uh, getting to die. That is a person who really needs help, guys. So, guys, I want to welcome you to our next video. The channel is uh, uh, Nazvin, and kindly if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Our give support, our support channels are on our description of the channel and I want you to welcome you to our next video guys. Peace guys.